Have you ever wondered where pictures from space come from? Technology is being created daily to help us get a glimpse into the world above us. Recently, we were able to see pictures from some really old planetary bodies. How? Well, NASA has a secret weapon called the Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is an observatory built primarily for infrared astronomy. Its enormously enhanced infrared resolution and sensitivity enable it to view objects that are too early, far away, or dim for the Hubble Space Telescope because it is the most significant optical telescope in space. This is anticipated to open up a wide variety of astronomical and cosmological inquiries, including the observation of the earliest stars and the development of the first galaxies, as well as the comprehensive atmospheric characterization of exoplanets that may harbor life. From Karoo, French Guiana, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched on an Arrain 5 rocket on December 25, 2021. It reached the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point in January 2022. Then on July 11, 2022, the public saw the first image from JWST during a press conference. The telescope is NASA's premier astrophysics mission, taking over from the Hubble. On July 12th, NASA and its collaborators, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, released some cosmological photos and a vast amount of spectroscopic data. These pictures showed Stefan's Quintet Galaxy Group, the Carina Nebula, the Southern Ring Nebula, the exoplanet WASP-96b, and the galaxy cluster SMACS-0723. Webb also gave the first indication of water in the atmosphere of the planet WASP-96b, in addition to discovering new stars and dozens of new galaxies. It's interesting to note that NASA also published pictures of Jupiter taken by Webb during the telescope's commissioning. These pictures show Jupiter and its moon in infrared light, a type of light that cannot be seen but can be felt as heat. When the mission teams were doing tests to determine whether the telescope could photograph moving objects, Webb was able to take the pictures. The $10 billion observatory will also be used to examine asteroids, comets, and moving exoplanets. Therefore, this test was important. In relation to asteroids, Webb also noticed asteroid 6481 Tenzig, which bears Tenzig Norgay's name and was one of the first climbers on Mount Everest. A scientist who examined new data revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope may have discovered a galaxy that existed 13.5 billion years ago, just a week after its initial photographs were made public. According to Rohan Nadu of the Harvard Center of Astrophysics, the galaxy known as Glass Z13 was created 300 million years after the Big Bang, which is around 100 million years earlier than any other object previously detected. The time it takes for an object's light to reach us increases with how far it is away from us. So, looking back into the far reaches of the universe is like seeing into the far past. Although Glass Z13 was a part of the universe's early history, its precise age is still uncertain because it might have originated at any point during the first 300 million years. The Orbiting Observatory's primary infrared imager, NIR cam, picked up Glass Z13 in early release data, but the discovery was not made public in the first image set released by NASA last week. As part of a larger representation of the far-off cosmos, known as a deep field, the galaxy appears as a blob of red with white in its center when converted from infrared to visible spectrum. The research has not yet undergone peer review and is now available only on a preprint server, but it has already generated considerable interest among astronomers worldwide. One of Webb's big promises is finding the first galaxies that emerged after the Big Bang. 13.8 billion years ago. These are so far away from Earth that by the time their light reaches us, the cosmos has stretched it and changed it so the infrared area of the light spectrum, which Webb can detect with previously unheard of clarity. Mr. Nadu and his colleagues looked through this far off universe's infrared data in search of a tall tale indicator of very distant galaxies. All photons or energy packets are absorbed by neutral hydrogen of the cosmos between the item and the viewer below a specific infrared wavelength threshold. They could determine the locations of these photon drop-offs and infer the presence of these most distant galaxies by analyzing data gathered through several infrared filters directed at the same region of space. The two systems had by far the most convincing signature out of all the early data that we looked for galaxies with this highly distinctive signal, according to Mr. Nadu. One of these is Glass Z13, while the other is Glass Z11, which is not as old. 
He said that strong evidence exists, but more investigation needs to be done. The team intends to specifically request telescope time from Webb's supervisors so that it can use spectroscopy to analyze the light and determine its precise distance. The team has already found several unexpected features. For instance, considering how soon after the Big Bang originated, the galaxy has the mass of a billion suns, which is possibly quite shocking and that is something we don't understand, according to Mr. Nadeau. The largest and most potent space telescope ever created is the James Webb Space Telescope. It has an approximate payload mass of 6,200 kilograms, a primary mirror diameter of 6.5 meters, and 25 meters is the clear aperture of the main mirror. The Webb Telescope is the size of a tennis court and is taller than a three-story building. So NASA staff members found a solution, fold it. To fit inside the rocket to launch, it was folded in the style of origami. Once in space, the telescope opened up. Keeping the temperature in the ideal range was also a large issue. Webb focuses on infrared light, which can occasionally be perceived as heat. The telescope must be protected from any bright, hot sources since it will be viewing the extremely faint infrared signals of far-off objects. The satellite itself also included with this. The sun shield protects the delicate mirrors and equipment from the sun, earth, and moon, as well as the spacecraft's bus. At roughly 225 degrees below zero Celsius, the telescope will operate. One could practically boil water on the hot side of the telescope and freeze nitrogen on the cold side due to the extreme temperature differences between the two sides. These bodies must all be pointed in the same direction for the solar, earth, and moon to be effectively shielded from the sun's light and heat by the sun shield. This is the rationale behind the telescope's deployment at the second Lagrange point. Maintaining the correct balance and direction at Lagrange points, the centripetal force necessary for a tiny item to travel with two massive masses precisely equals their gravitational attraction. Therefore, the points L1, L2, and L3 are all parallel, and L4 and L5 are located at the apex of equilateral triangles. In relation to the other two bodies, it is simple for an object to remain in situ at one of these five places. Objects will orbit L4 and L5 on their own since L4 and L5 are stable. They are known tiny asteroids orbiting the Sun, Earth, L4, and L5 points. But because L1, L2, and L3 are metastable, anything near them will eventually start to move into their orbits around the Sun unless it is kept in place, for instance, by applying a little periodic rocket force. For this reason, unlike L4 and L5, L1, L2, and L3 do not gather items. Webb will follow the Earth as it orbits the Sun because the gravitational pulls of the Sun and the Earth are balanced at the L2 point. At this point, a spacecraft can almost be held in place by the gravitational pull of the Sun and the Earth, requiring only a small amount of rocket energy to maintain an orbit around L2. Compared to its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which was deployed in 1990, Webb is producing exceptionally fine images and doing so without any difficulty. Astronomers can observe some of the first stars and galaxies formed immediately after the Big Bang after Webb carries out more extended observations that enable it to collect more light from dim stars or galaxies. Astronomers anticipate finding the signature of oxygen, nitrogen, ammonia, and carbon in the form of methane and other hydrocarbons as Webb moves on to examine smaller planets that might potentially support life. The object is to find biosignatures of life or chemistry that would suggest that living things have altered the atmosphere. 